The USS Nautilus was a nautical achievement and a craft of epic proportion, from the origin of its name to the source of its power. A first for the US Navy, as well as the world at large, the USS Nautilus was creation's first nuclear-powered submarine and the kickstart to a long revolution of ship propulsion. Here are eight reasons why the USS Nautilus changed ocean navigation forever. Eight. It's all in a name. The underwater vessel, soon to be known as the USS Nautilus, shared its name with two notable sources. The first stemmed from Captain Nemo's submarine in Jules Verne's 1870 science fiction novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. A great American classic, the novel depicts a ship, the Nautilus, which was considered very advanced for its time. The novel succeeded in its dauntingly accurate description of features known to modern-day submarines, albeit at a time when they were still very primitive vessels. The second honorary namesake is derived from another USS Nautilus, SS-168, which proudly served during World War II. The new Nautilus, launched in 1954 in attendance of the First Lady and wife of 24th President Dwight D. Eisenhower, made quite a name for herself. Her achievements as the world's first nuclear-powered submarine proved that nuclear propulsion was safe and efficient. The USS Nautilus broke many records in her first years of operation and travelled to locations previously beyond the limits of submarines, such as the North Pole. 7. How It All Began In 1948, the US Navy established a nuclear power branch in what would soon kick off a revolution in ship propulsion. The department was led by the legendary naval officer, Captain Hyman Rickover, whose duty would be to oversee the construction of a very unique ship. That ship was the nuclear submarine USS Nautilus. Soon, she would become the first to take advantage of the benefits of nuclear force. In a day and age when technological triumphs were in rapid progression, the Nautilus was a spectacular success. Only nine years after the first atomic bomb weapons test was launched in New Mexico, Nautilus was up and running, with a new type of thunder under her belly, and the determination to change the underwater navigation game forever. Of course, the US Navy heavily advocated the cause, as they were well used to travelling long distances in the name of honour and duty. Nuclear propulsion would thus make these endeavours that much easier and safer. In total, nuclear-powered submarines would have an unlimited range, be faster above and below the surface of the ocean, generate more power per volume than diesel engines, and operate much more smoothly. After final construction was completed in 1955, the abilities of the USS Nautilus soon paved the way for an all-nuclear US Navy submarine fleet. During her career, the USS Nautilus made 2,507 dives and travelled 513,550 miles without incident. A true pioneer, Nautilus's success ensured that the US submarine fleet would maintain technological superiority over the Soviet Navy for the remainder of the Cold War. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to What Lurks Below for more fascinating videos such as this one. Six. Logistics The submarine Nautilus was powered by a pressurized water atomic reactor known as an S2W submarine thermal reactor. Namely, the device could generate up to 13,400 horsepower alone. This would give the Nautilus a maximum speed of 23 knots, roughly 27 miles per hour, whereas the fastest type of diesel submarine could only reach 10 knots, 12 miles per hour. The ship was an impressive 320 feet long, an astonishing 82 feet longer than the conventionally powered Tang class, and displaced 4,000 tons when submerged, which was twice as much as the aforementioned submarine. Do you know how many crew members were on board at launch? Perhaps it was only 10, 20, or maybe more. Find out at the end of the video. 5. Design Despite the craft's engine being powered by an all-American nuclear power plant, its hull was German in origin. The US had not yet invented the dominating teardrop-shaped vessel in use today, 
So the Nautilus was the same model of the German Type 21 U-boat, the most highly advanced design for use in war and the foundation of many intermediate post-war submarine designs, such as the Soviet Whiskey class and K Porpoise class, the former designed in the early Cold War period and the former around the end of World War II. This model, coupled with nuclear power, gave the submarine a five-knot advantage over the old-school powered tank class. But there was also a compromise at play between surface and subsurface handling, which prevented the Nautilus from reaching the promised power of 30 plus knot sustained speeds. Because the vessel was created only to prove the safety of nuclear power, she was never intended to hold armed weaponry. This decision was quickly reversed, however, and soon the Nautilus was given six 533mm torpedo tubes built into the side of the bow, along with generous storage space for up to 26 torpedoes. The image pictured is through the periscope of the USS Nautilus on June 25, 1942, as it torpedoed a Japanese destroyer. 4. A historical message in the making Despite the USS Nautilus being authorized into operation in September of 1954, it didn't make it to sea for several months. Finally, after much anticipation, the vessel's reactor was fired up, and it wasn't until January of 1955 that the Nautilus finally disembarked from the pier. Crewmen sent the signal, underway on nuclear power, a reading which quickly became a significant moment in history. And the craft quickly defeated all records in distance and speed, the submarine made a submerged trip from New London, Connecticut to Puerto Rico, a distance of 1,381 miles in 90 hours, at an average of 15 knots. 3. When life hands you lemons The first nuclear-powered submarine meant the first of its kind to display any flaws. When fully submersed, the Nautilus wasn't perfect. The flow of water behind her mighty sail produced a severe vibration when the craft hit any speed over 16 knots. According to the crewmen, it was mandatory to yell at the top of one's lungs in order to be heard from the torpedo room once the submarine entered a range of 16 to 17 knots. All in all, the vibrations were so heavy that the ship's sonar was rendered ineffectual above 8 knots. However, the Navy promptly turned lemons into lemonade by admonishing the craft a test site for a wide variety of self-noise trials and research. When your machine is too noisy, turn it into a laboratory for sound scrutiny. Brilliant! 2. A chance at greatness Although the USS Nautilus had been destined to greatness as none other than a test site, an overhaul in 1960 had the craft join the Atlantic Fleet, serving as a regular submarine. An impressive staple includes one of her very first operations as a participant in the blockade of Cuba during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The only thing holding the old girl back was the harrowing noises from her vibration and a hull design that became outdated. The Nautilus was banished to the second line. She underwent operations in anti-submarine warfare exercises that took place far from Soviet forces. The USS Nautilus remained on duty until 1979 when it was opened to the public as a permanent exhibition at the Submarine Force Library Museum in 1985. Today, the beauty attracts around 250,000 visitors every year to see the world's first nautical achievement in nuclear-powered engineering. 1. An impressive journey In 1958, moments after the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the world's first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth in 98 minutes, the US government lobbied for the first nuclear-powered submarine to reach the North Pole. The endeavor was a direct response to the satellite's debut and an effort to prove that Polaris missile-armed submarines could function above the Arctic Circle. On July of 1958, the USS Nautilus became the first underwater craft to perform this feat, reaching the North Pole and surviving both above and below the ice. The vessel had traveled from Hawaii all the way to Greenland, which was deemed the most unusual voyage undertaken by any other ship to date. And finally, from our question earlier, upon launching, the USS Nautilus welcomed its first ever crew of 105 men. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to What Lurks Below.